are 11th in Magnolia. Just thought we'd show you a little bit of the damage that's been done. Pretty bad. Hmm. We're going to work our way up through this neighborhood, pick uh, trees like this off the houses, and this lady here has told us we should go through here and do this. <laughs> so. That's kind of bad right there. It wouldn't have been in that house. So, and it just keeps going and going and going. So. Here we go. hazardous.
Well, here's where we started this morning. Alley looks far different than it did when we got going. Uh, I think we started around uh, 8.30 Central Time, 9.30 Eastern. Uh, there's the first tree. We took the top 30 feet out of that elm, piled it by the road, took the top out of that little maple tree there. And we have one limb. One little limb up in the uh, mulberry. Took that down, piled everything by the road. Now we just started moving down this alley. Uh, you can see the maple ahead on the left. Um, took the broken limbs and stubs that were up over the road. Took the top out of it, make it a little bit safer. Now we got a couple maple stumps over there. Took 20, 30 feet out of those as well. And this little maple there, took the broken top out of it. Make it a little bit easier for him to drop. This garage here had all of this brush piled on top of the roof there. Uh, just grabbed a hold of everything and drug it down, piled it up here in the yard. But yeah, it was just all, all laying on that roof there. This big oak stump that you see over there. Oh, we took the top 30 feet out of it. <clears throat> so we can make it a little bit easier uh, for the tree company that was working. They were able to come in and drop it. Um, otherwise, if we would have left that in, it would have hit the house there. So got that out. Then we just continued on down the alley. Next one we came to was the brown house. Um, you see up on the peak, it kind of dented in. A large silver maple had fallen and uh, it was leaning up on it. So we were able to cut it, bring the rest of it down to the ground. And the hackberry on the right, quick cut off the top. You know, get the broken, broken top out of it, make it a little bit safer. Also had a hackberry tree that this large oak tree fell on. And it had uh, bent over and cracked the hackberry. It was sitting right there in the corner. We got that out of there. We did not crack the windshield of the sweet Mustang though. Uh, lifted it up, set it over in the rest of the brush pile. Most of our day was spent right in this area. Uh, that large cherry to the left. Uh, we took a broken limb off to the side uh, so they could finish uh, dropping it. The oak tree closest to us, we took all the limbs off of it that were broken. Uh, now it can be dropped um, safely. Had a uh, bent over hackberry tree here. Took it down, piled it up. Had a triple trunk hackberry here. Took it down, there's all the brush from it in that brush pile. It was a good sized tree there. And if you see the Pac-Man tree, uh, it was uh, leaning up into the elm tree. And right in the crotch there, took all of it down, piled it up by the road. Maple tree across the street. Uh, top blew out of it, but it still had all the major limbs going out over the top of the house. Took all those limbs down, piled it up here. There was actually a hackberry tree. Can't really see the stump because we buried it. We dropped it in the yard <coughs> and drug it back, piled it up. The garage there that's crushed. Had three or four logs still leaning up against the back of it. Just pulled those off of there. 
make it a little bit safer for uh, whoever's got to get in there next. Then we didn't film this alley over here this morning, uh, but we're down there by that big nasty elm tree that's all split apart and laying. But on the way down, uh, we took down the top of that maple tree there. Uh, that way they could get a tarp on the, the roof easier and not have to worry about new stuff falling. And we just started working our way down this alley. We got some hackberry limbs here. Uh, you can see where the they were. The volunteers had cleared cleared the alleyway, but these limbs were still stuck up leaning on that pole and even above the pole uh, so cut those off got them laid down to where people can work with them now and then this uh, garage down here was halfway into the alley still uh, so we just reached down and grabbed the roof flipped it up <coughs> flipped it over on top of the pile so we can get through and you now everybody else can get through as well So we'll see if we have enough daylight to get started on this elm tree here. It's probably a four foot diameter elm with leads just going every which direction that are all uh, just splintered off and, and hanging and pinned up on the ground. So it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but luckily we don't have anything <coughs> underneath of it. We've got a good setup for the crane that uh, we can just start picking away at it. So, it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Moon's out. There it is, by the light of the moon, time to call it a night, get going again in the morning. <laughs> 